Hey, you guys. So Jackie has done a call, a webinar, um, and she's posting in the groups all of her super helpful tips on what to bring to convention and what to expect when you get there. And I love you, Miss Ritz, but you have forgotten three super, super important tips. But don't you worry, guys. I got your butts covered. Um, so my first one is I can't quite explain the climate of Salt Lake City. You are freezing in the morning. You are sweating in places that you didn't even know you had sweat glands by like 8 a.m. And then after doing, you know, walking two miles, for those of us who are not right across the street, you are going to sit. You're going to have dr sweat dripping down your back and down your butt. And then you're going to sit in a convention seat, which is you know, there's stadium seating. It is uncomfortable. And you're gonna kinda slightly wiggle to the left when your butt goes numb. And then you're slightly wiggle to the right when your butt goes numb. And all of that little slight wiggling is gonna cause some serious friction. Then you're gonna get up and you're gonna walk to lunch. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you stay seated, wiggling slightly. It's gonna be awful. And you're gonna sweat some more. And you're gonna get up at the end of the day. You're gonna walk to your hotel. You're gonna sweat some more. Guys, by the end of, I'll give you till day two. Some of us will be day one. But by the end of day two, your ass is gonna be so raw and uncomfortable, you're gonna need what I like to call SWAS spray. Because you're gonna have a nasty case of SWAS. And you might be like Jen and think, oh, you know what, Renee, you're such a baby. I live in, you know, 98 degree temperatures in the winter. No, it doesn't matter. I'm from St. Louis, I get humidity. It's, it's not the same. There is something about Salt Lake City that it just, your skin will do things. Oh, it's just awful, it's disgusting. So make sure you bring moisturizer. That's not one of my three tips, but I'm gonna add that one in there. That is a bonus tip for you guys, you are welcome. So yeah, bring your Immortel. I had like this like red rashy goatee. Like I have a picture of me and Frank and he's all like hairy burly and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what was going on, it was gross. Anyway. I'm gonna remember my, my Immortal Hydrating <laughs> Serum when I go this time. Okay, so, bottle of SWAS, get it. Um, as if they sell it in the stores. <laughs> Make yourself some. Okay, tip number two. Going back to the walking and the sweating. For those of you that have, you know, thigh gaps, pass over this one, this one does not apply to you. For those of you girls that are like me, that have a little bit of chub, a little bit of rub. Get your doTERRA deodorant. This does not work for pit funk. Sorry, doTERRA. It just simply does not, at least not for my pit funk. However, it is amazing, amazing as, you know, a little, a little friction reducer. So you can't see, but just rub it on your inner thighs. You're good to go for the day. And also, for those of you with girls, Apply it underneath your boobs, you are good to go. This seriously, it is amazing for that. Toss it in your bag. You know what I mean? If you want to put it on just for shits and giggles, put it on as for a deodorant, but it doesn't work for that. Tip number three. Jackie mentioned wearing comfortable shoes. I prefer sandals, flip-flops, those kinds of things. And for the most part, that's what I wear all day. So I think, oh, I can totally wear this to convention, but I need a pedicure. If you are one of those girls that goes out and gets regular pedicures, you are good. You don't need to listen to this. But if you are like me and you haven't gone since, I don't know, your wedding <laughs> to get a pedicure done or maybe prom or <laughs> one of those, do not go and get a pedicure right before convention. You, you need those thick calluses. Do not go and, you know, scrub your hooves off, ladies. You don't, you don't want that. Because you're gonna get to convention, you're gonna wear shoes that you think are totally fine, but all that protective skin, that that those thick calluses that were protecting your feet, they're gone. You're gonna get some gnarly, gnarly, gnarly blisters. Don't do that. Paint your toenails if you feel like it, or just say screw it and go as is. Like me, right now I've got two nails painted from back in July. Gross. I will paint them for you guys. But do not scrub your hooves. Leave them there, leave them intact. Get yourself a nice fancy pedicure when you get back home. Don't do it now. You, you need the, that top skin there to protect your feet from blisters. So 
I cannot wait to see you guys in two weeks. Yay! Um, but those are my three tips. I hope you found them helpful.